my grandma and my dad uh, wanted me to learn how to swim just before I was 10 -ish, just not be afraid of water. And I also had some back problems, which doctors told me to go swimming to help him. That was the main reason why I started swimming. And I only started thinking about competitive swimming at age of 12, I think, when I broke my first Lithuanian record. And I was like, oh, maybe I can you know, train hard and get more records. And before that, I was just getting kicked out of sessions and stuff. And I was just like messing around with it in the pool all the time. 15-year-old Ruta Milutita was born in Kaunas, Lithuania. Three years ago, she moved to the UK to train at one of the country's leading swimming clubs, Plymouth Leander. A naturally gifted all-rounder, the youngster displayed a notable talent for the breaststroke. John Rudd is the club's head coach. We put her into a medley development program, so she was covering all of the strokes, and her breaststroke was, uh, was pretty exciting, and I, and I don't really know that that had been identified um, uh, by other coaches prior to then. So I sat down and said, look, I think you've got something here with, with a breaststroke and it, and it might be something that <clears throat> is a little bit different to what you've been used to and we'll keep the freestyle certainly something that's going uh, as an important thing for you, but breaststroke is, is where we'll focus. Last summer, Ruta qualified for the London Olympics. She was entered into the 50 and 100 meter freestyle as well as her main event, the 100 meter breaststroke. Despite some success in junior competitions, it was her first major senior international meet. As such, the teenager's main goal was to enjoy the experience. My personal hopes before Olympics was to see as much as I can, because it's obviously, before we went to Olympics, we were just thinking to ourselves, me and my coach were just like, oh, this is just for experience and you'll, you'll know what it's like. And, We'll go for it at Rio. My biggest aim was to make the final. And once I made the final, I was completely chilled and I didn't really care about how I do. Incredibly, Ruta was the fastest qualifier for the 100 breaststroke final, setting a new European record of one minute 5.21 seconds in the semis. In the final, she led from the start holding off her more experienced rivals to claim an historic and wholly unexpected gold medal. The shock result represented Lithuania's first ever Olympic medal in the pool, with Ruta becoming the country's youngest ever Olympic champion. On returning to Lithuania, she was given a hero's welcome. It was absolutely incredible. Like, the support I got from my home country was unbelievable. Uh, you know, it didn't feel like it was, it felt just like a dream, like I, I never expected anything like that. And so many people have turned up to show the respect, to, which was absolutely amazing, it made me so proud. Transworld Sport recently travelled to the maritime city of Plymouth in the southwest of England to meet up with the swimming star. Bordered on three sides by water, Plymouth is a major port with a proud naval history. The Pilgrim Fathers departed Plymouth aboard the Mayflower destined for the New World, and Sir Francis Drake famously played bowls on Plymouth Hoe before setting sail to engage the Spanish Armada. Around a mile inland is Plymouth College. Eleven years ago, the school began a partnership with Plymouth Leander to offer swimming scholarships for its students. Today, it's amongst the top swimming schools in the country. Ruta is just starting her GCSEs here, and the college tries to ensure that her training and academic work can exist side by side. For the most part, Ruta is expected to attend all lessons, complete her homework on time, and do well in all her exams. In lessons, the Olympic champion is treated no differently from the rest of her classmates. It's great to, to have both sort of sides of um, people. As one of that's athletes and uh, is also just students. So we're really different, but uh, we're we're same at the same time because we go to school and we all have to do homework and stuff. So it's sort of we get support from 
uh, each other. Ruta is not the only Plymouth College student to have competed at London 2012. British diver Tom Daly and swimmers Jade Howard from Zambia and Uganda's Jamila Lukunse also featured in the Games. Sarah Dunn is the college's deputy head and director of sports. It's a large percentage of our student body is, is now in the elite athlete programs. But the interesting thing is that it's done wonders for our academics because the, the elite athlete also has the same mantra and work ethic in the, in the classroom. So we're loving it. We're getting these fantastic athletes, but you put them in a classroom, you'll see Ruta or, or Tom or anybody, and the way they work is exactly the same as they are in the pool or on a diving board or, or whatever. Outside of her schoolwork, training takes up the vast majority of Ruta's time, with the swimmers spending nearly five hours a day, six days a week in the pool, as well as doing extra training in the gym. With such an intense training regime, the team often take the opportunity to socialize together away from the confines of the pool and the classroom. Having uh, your teammates around you, uh, especially at hard times where you're just tired and you're like, oh, I don't want to train tonight or something, it's always a good thing because they're always like, oh, come on, we're all like sort of in the same boat. And it's like, you know, sort of keeps you motivated and um, helps you reach your goals. And I think without them, it'd be much harder, harder to, to do that. As well as the support from her friends and family, Ruta's dedication and positive attitude have played a pivotal role in her becoming an Olympic champion at such a young age. Well, first of all, she's a real physical specimen. But secondly, she has, a, she has a, an inner drive and an, an intrinsic desire for success, and, and her life revolves around this sport. Um, and she do, doesn't just talk the talk, she walks the walk, which um, is a rare thing in a lot of athletes, never mind in a 15-year-old girl, because swimming and swimming success will always be foremost in her mind. And the combination of those two things, as well as having a great relationship with the water, you know, where she really gets hold of it well, and the water's a friend rather than her enemy. Uh, and when you, when you get a combination of those three things, then you've got a great recipe for success. In July, Ruta will look to build on her Olympic success at the FINA World Aquatic Championships in Barcelona. Though the teenager will hope to challenge for medals in both breaststroke and freestyle, for the time being, her coach is mainly interested in fine-tuning Ruta's performances in the pool. Well, we're never going to target medals. We're always going to target personal improvement. Um, and so the target for next summer is to swim faster than she did in London. That's all we can do. So that's the only controllable that we have. Now, if that's good enough to win or win a medal, uh, that's great. And if it isn't, well, what more could we have done? Because there's always going to be, over the next four years, another router from somewhere else. As she goes more into her senior years, there's going to be some young buck on the scene that starts to challenge her, just like she's done with um, the more established swimmers um, this year. It's a target that resonates with the young Olympic champion. I think that the goal of each meet just to be your best, um, no matter what it takes. If if I know I gave it 100% and I came last, I don't think uh, you know I'd be upset. Obviously, it wouldn't be <laughs> I wouldn't be too happy, but if that's what I can do, that's what I can do. 